Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we get started, I need to quickly uh, bring something up here. My audio might be really off this episode um, because my microphone has decided to start acting up, or not the microphone in particular, but the microphone stand. Here, let's see if I can show you. You hear that clicking? I'm rotating my mic on the stand. Uh -oh. There we go. And if it's tight on the um, the connector, it begins clicking. But if it's loose, it doesn't click. And I haven't been able to figure out why. Um, so if I, I was desperately and frantically playing with the microphone in order to make sure that I could get you guys an episode for today, and in the process, I accidentally messed with the gain and volume controls. So if the volume is not up to par, please let me know so I can fix it in future episodes. Anyways, let's get on with the actual episode here. So... What I think is going to end up happening is that we're going to have or see um, this carry on into the next season, but only decorations. We're going to get the majority of the building done now and have everything else, um, like the, the main building and whatnot, done by the end of this season so that is my plan so what I did here was I just marked off where we're gonna put some slabs for some of the employees but that is going to be done in a little bit um, what actually needs to happen is is uh, pillars hmm wait a minute it's back Wow, that is really annoying. I might have to buy an actual microphone stand and not this cheap $10 one that I bought on Amazon for, well, $10. So that is my fault for cheaping out on a microphone stand. But... I didn't really have a choice because I just spent a hundred dollars on um, a mic, so I didn't really have a lot of uh, spending room for other expenses. So, yeah. And I really hope that I am right about the whole microphone stand thing, because when it's not attached to the microphone stand, it records flawlessly. But as soon as it's attached, it begins the clicking. And I, I have no idea why. So, I spent about 40 minutes dealing with that. There is nothing on Google, no help like that, that I could find. And, wow, my ear really hurts. It's not good. Ugh, I'm pretty sure that my coworker blew out my eardrums. To, oh my gosh, that is not good at all. I'm pretty sure my coworker blew out my eardrums today while we were uh, going to lunch because um, he has a really uh, heavy bass system in his vehicle. And it makes your entire face ring. And he turned on to the maximum, and I literally cannot. Well, I, like it was fine, but now it's just like in pain. 
This video is already starting out terribly. Because now I've got... Uh, I, I swear, like, I, I must have, like, walked across the path of a black cat or something. Or shattered a mirror, stepped under a ladder. Um... Uh, did something 13 times or something. Because I am, I have been having really bad and at the same time really good luck today. Like it's been off and on. Like I'll, something good will happen, but it's like followed up by something bad almost immediately after. So, it has been quite the adventure, I suppose. Well, um, let's see. This might be one of the few buildings that actually has uh, four high, but I believe the house is four high too, so. Or is it three high? In the wise words of Gur from Invader Zim, I don't know. On the bright side, my ear doesn't hurt anymore, so that's good. And now I have Mr. Brightside stuck in my head. That's even better. All right. Ah, oh, boy. Well, a quick apologies for the beginning antics that have occurred, such as me complaining about my eardrum, asking about the audio quality, and showing you this really cool trick my mic can do. Ugh. The fact that I don't know what's causing that is going to annoy me until the other time. And the worst part is, is my mic has to be crooked. So I'll have to favor an eardrum, basically. There's nothing I can do about it, except for maybe you try to find a way around it by talking right here instead. Here, actually, hold on. I'm going to move my mic right here. So this way, naturally, I'm talking in the middle. And that way I can actually move around you like this. And not have to worry about the microphone being out of place. Perfect. All's well ends well, I guess. Not really, because I need to buy an actual microphone stand now. But whatever. I'm supposed to technically do a Subnautica video after this, but I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to do it. I'll probably have to do three videos tomorrow instead of just two. Ugh. Well, we have a quarry, though. Ugh. No, I don't want to do mining down there. If memory serves me correctly, there should be... Wait, why am I looking for cobblestone? We have plenty. I um I am really tired right now. It has been a long day. I've been up since five. And it is currently one o'clock right now. One AM. So I have been up for twenty hours. And wow is it hitting hard. Oh boy. Yeah, this is not fun when it comes to being this sleep deprived. So, I'm definitely going to have to save some amount of cover the next day. Which won't matter for you guys because you'll still get on the same day. 
It just matters for me because I have a lot more work that I have to do in a short period of time. Which is what I get for being, um, well, the way I am. Alright, well, here we go. We're just going to keep on building here with these cobblestone layers. There we go. This will probably be a some sort of living quarters of sorts. Now, if we look at the design pattern that we have, we mostly use stone brick with stone slabs to accent the windows. So, let's do. We're not. We can't have a window. Actually, yes, we can. We're gonna have a window right starting right on this side spanning over here there we go and with our stone there now according to the guide we have so we'll be doing glowstone behind the wood pillars but then stone Kind of where if we feel like it, I guess. So we're probably going to do the same thing on this side here and have a another window. So this follows up and on an inline here. Like that. All right, and we're also going to be doing a window on this side as well. And we need more slabs. So we're going to run down over here and get some. Oh, shoot. Let's put some more. Uh, let's put let's put more cobblestone in the furnaces for later use. There we go. And let's go check these furnaces in case something is finished that I forgot about. Yes, there is indeed. <sighs> well, thankfully today is, uh, this is early, not today. This week is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. week. So I have more time to uh, work on my projects and hopefully get those dished out to y'all. Because uh, things do not go the way I want them to half the time, it seems. So that's great. All right. Uh, well, first week back on campus, and I am somehow unbelievably exhausted. Both at what's to come and both at what is already happened. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. So we're going to be built, we're actually going to be using this wall over here for furniture, so that's why I'm leaving it um open like that. And we're just going to continue on with our cobble here there we go not bad not bad at all and now we need a wood a lot of wood so we're 
we're gonna go and put away some of our miscellaneous stuff in this chest here because why? Okay, we actually have chests for this stuff here. So let's get that actually properly sorted. Um, there we go. There we go. All right, that's good enough. I don't have anything else, so I think we're good. <sighs> well, after what, like four months of use of this mic, almost. Nah, it's, yeah, it's nearly been four months. I'm starting to have problems with it. But I think it's just the mic stand because, it, you know, as I said previously, um, when it's not attached to the stand, it works perfectly. So, I might need to buy a mic, uh, Blue Yeti stand that, um, that uses its side points rather than its bottom point because I think that it might have something to do with the uh, bottom connector with a weird ticking noise Snape Snape Severus Snape see for those of you who don't know that is classic internet right there uh, I think it was Harry Potter and the mysterious ticking sound. <sighs> that was, uh, that was the golden days of the internet. When Nia Higa just released the iPod Human. And, um... You know, now that I think about it, I think my first Minecraft video was um, building an upside-down house in Minecraft. I think that was the very first Minecraft video that I saw. I think. Maybe it was, maybe that was like the one that made me like, play it again. Shoot. Yeah. I think it, no, but no, it was definitely that one. That was the one that made me like want to want to get it. The dude built an upside down house, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I want a game like this, and yeah. Um, finally got Minecraft after like months of begging my dad to buy me Minecraft. It's like sixth grade had just started. And I think, let's see, so I started playing at one point, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I started playing either on or after 1.7.2 beta, but I know for a fact that when I started playing, they had re like they had just added Enderman to the game. And the next update um, was released in, I want to say November of that year. When they finally did Minecraft Update 1. And um, this big guy, which I would later come to learn was Marcus Person, uh, came onto stage and pulled a comedically large lever. That doesn't look half bad. So. And there was a lot that um, kind of happened 
due to Minecraft being a part of my uh, middle school life. For starters, uh, Captain Sparkle's Revenge. That was like, that was, that was hot stuff, man. I mean, you couldn't get any more hip or chill than knowing what Captain Sparkle's Revenge was. And that's a fact. That is a fact. That if you, if you knew the lyrics to Captain Sparkle's Revenge, uh, you were, um, you were, uh, you were something. You were somebody if you knew that. But if you're me, of course, then uh, you, you just get, uh, you know, ostracized and outcasted for, you know, ruining something that was once considered fun. Ah. <sighs> Sorry for killjoying the mood there, but uh, it's what I do best. Oh, I really wish that uh, I knew a better way of going about this. This is kind of ridiculous. How to cut down this many trees? Oh, I didn't jump early enough. Oh, come on. Come on, jump early. Let's go. Nope. Okay, fine. There we go. Uh, nope. Alright, this will be easier. There we go. Straight shot down. All right, and I don't know how I feel about these side pillars here. I might end up removing them. Oh, wow. That doesn't seem right. I still have to move the um this over one then to right here. Ah, the sounds of breaking glass. Nothing more soothing than the sound of shattering glass. Ugh, I just I might just need to go and take a forever nap. I really wish I could just like forfeit all my responsibilities as a new adult. That'd be great. Are you kidding me? Oh, if only. I would like seriously probably consider killing to like, you know, not have to worry about adulting. Okay, I take that back because that opens the door for murder and I'm not for that kind of stuff. So maybe I should rephrase my words just a little bit. Just gonna pop in that one, pop in that one. There we go. Perfect. Symmetry. It's always there for us. 
I don't know what I'm going to do for the roof yet. I haven't really gotten that far. But let's have the main body done. That'll look really nice with the side overhang and the actual roof. And also the front overhang. Which is going to stick out right here. So. And it's going to connect over here and pull out. It'll be a little uh, kind of canopy thing. And these will probably be replaced with dirt and like, you know, grass. Something. Uh, because of how grass works, we need to create a grass train. And then we're just going to do that. Alright, now eventually the grass is going to slowly make its way over here. And then we'll have little grass beds. Alright, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to... I might want to kill those ending stumps. I think I was wrong about having them. And then I don't know how I'm going to do the roof here, but we're going to go and we're going to convert the rest of these spruce logs into oak. And we're going to go and we're going to make some uh, slabs in the creek, the entryway. Yeah, I am totally going to bed after this. I might actually end up cutting the episode a little earlier than usual. Because I am having a hard time keeping my eyes open right now. That's actually a first. <sighs> Alright, we're going to fix this little mistake that I just made there. And try to get a slab right. There. Uh oh, we gotta have to extend it. There we go. Hmm, what is it missing? And we had some bushes and whatnot, its flare will be back. In the meantime, though. Gotta add some uh, some fencing, some areas here for decoration. There we go. There we go. We're also gonna need a third pillar, which will line up with a door, just for architectural standpoints here. Because why not? Uh, I need more beds around the area. Okay, I, I actually just closed my eyes there for a solid 10 seconds. So... We're going to go and we're going to get some pictures real fast. We'll just kind of like gently kind of, I don't know, do this maybe. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Perfect. So 
I'm going to be cutting it short right here. Next episode, we're going to be getting the exterior finished no matter what. Hopefully, I won't be extremely tired and uh, cut the recording short like right now. Um, thank you all for watching, and I, I cannot extend my appreciation far enough. Um, I'm sorry that I have to do this. It's just, you know, the whole microphone popping thing. I got to I got to do something about it and so and I also have to get today's episode recorded no matter what. So anyways, um sorry for today's episode not being up to par with the others, but as always, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic night.